We welcome you live to the Miller Lite Manhattan Beach Open, Beach Volleyball's most prestigious tournament. This is a semifinal between Karch Karai, Kent Steffes, Mike Dodd, and Mike Whitmarsh, a rematch of the gold medal final. And so far, it has been all Dodd and Whitmarsh as they lead 5-1. The silver medal is off to a marvelous start playing good defense, moving the ball around, and Karch Karai and Kent Steffes put the first point on the board. But since then, I think Mike Whitmarsh has made some adjustments. He's getting over the net a little bit better. And of course, the ageless wonder, Mike Dodd playing good defense, and they continue to work on Karch Kirai deep. One game to 15. Dodd with another dig. Looking for point number six. Not yet. Steffes goes and gets it. And Steffes puts it away gently. I'm Chris Marlowe with me, Paul Sunderland and Bill Walton. The weather is definitely a factor. It is overcast, cool, and very breezy. Temperature about 70 degrees on the sand. A heavy contrast to Atlanta Beach of a couple of weeks ago, where it was in excess of 115, 120 at times. Kirai and Steph is certainly struggling here. They're not jump serving with any real velocity or purpose right now, and they have to work very, very hard to get points. Dodd and Whitmarsh, when you talk to them, if they're smooth in their offense, they're a very difficult team to beat. Karai and Steffes led one to nothing, then Dodd and Whitmarsh scoring five unanswered points. As big Mike Whitmarsh puts it away, Whitmarsh is 6'7". Of course, if you follow volleyball, you know he's a former basketball player, as are both Whitmarsh and Dodd. There's Whitmarsh in the black outfit. Lives in San Diego, California, and he works on Steffes. 5-1 our score, Dodd and Whitmarsh, the silver medalists in Atlanta, have the lead on the gold medalists. Dodd is 38 years old. He'll turn 39 very soon, August 20th. He's won over $1,500,000 in prize money. And Steffes aces. Not really a good side, bad side with the conditions here today. The wind blowing off the Pacific. So what you want to do is serve the player closest to the ocean then the wind will have the most effect of taking the ball out of his hitting zone. But that one was clean hubby white right up the middle and Steffes comes back, misses that one, trying to take some more chances with his jump serve, break up the rhythm of Dodd and Whitmarsh. Dodd grew up in Manhattan Beach. He's got a big following here. He's won this tournament five times. The all-time record holder is Karch with six. And Whitmarsh stuffs it off the pink hat. Hold on to your pink hat. The pink hat is the trademark. We didn't know that it was a landing pad. Look at this. Told you Whitmarsh was making some adjustments early in the match. He was reaching straight up trying to get shots. That time Pike way over the net stuffed that ball straight down. Of course, a lot of players playing the ball now with your feet, which is legal, with your head if you must. But I don't think Karch had any intention. That thing was blasted right on top of the pink dome. Interestingly, Karch grew up as a soccer player. That was the first sport his father, Laz, taught him. Then it was volleyball. 6-2 our score. Karai and Steph is the gold medalist behind as Dodd gently taps into the corner. And Mike Whitmarsh is nearest the water here. And with the wind blowing, you can hear it. You can see it. Very windy conditions here. That's the, the way to go, but I think Mike Whitmarsh got off to an excellent start at the beginning of this game, looking very aggressive going after the ball, and so Kirai and Steffes are going to get back on Mike Dodd. Little tip over the top is Kirai. A lot of teams serving Karch Kirai now. He said he doesn't mind as much. I asked him yes, after he the Olympics. No, he said he doesn't mind now because he felt in the Olympics that he carried a lot of the burden and gave him a great sense of accomplishment. Karch living in San Clemente, California, 35 years old now. 6-2 in a game to 15. And Whitmarsh dinks it into the bottom of the net. Brian step Mike a score a point. Mike Dodd keeping the ball down point just a little Brian bit to keep it out of the breeze we've been talking about, but Mike Whitmarsh obviously has to know about that. Maybe that set a little bit too low, got to it late, and couldn't cut off the nice cut shot inside the block of Kent Steffes. This is the 37th annual Miller Lite Manhattan Beach Open. The first winners, Mike Bright and Mike O'Hara, two volleyball legends that won the first five tournaments here. 
Once again, Karchikarai with the most titles at six. Mike Dodd has won five, all with Tim Hovland, and some legendary moments in 1981 against Sinjin Smith and Randy Stoklos. Double final finished at 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. Took four hours to play. Six, three. Dodd and Whitmarsh leading Karai Steffes. Here comes Dodd in trouble. Pokes it. Got it. Just like knowing the dimensions of the living room, <laughs> you know every corner of this court, regardless of the wind conditions or whatever else may be going on. Great trouble shot by Mike Dodd. Mike Dodd set to serve using a floater. High floater. Here comes Steffes. And Whitmarsh stuffs him. These two teams know each other awfully well, not only at the Olympics, but so many big matchups over the last several years. Mike Whitmarsh knows that Kent Steff is going to come in and turn the ball down the line. That's where Steffes likes to go. Big Wit dressed in black today for the semifinals. There in his face. The rematch of the gold medal final, and it's a turnaround at the moment. Dodd and Whitmarsh ahead. Back at the Miller Lite. Manhattan Beach open. Mike Dodd, Mike Whitmarsh leading 7-3. to three. Let's go down to Bill Walton. All right, Chris. Spent some great beach time this morning with all the medal winners from Atlanta, and they have just been overwhelmed with the public support that they've received. Wherever they've gone, people have come up to them clamoring for autographs, wanting to see the medal, wanting to touch it. It's gotten so bad that Mike Dodd on the planes has had to conduct impromptu autograph sessions where he's been up and down the aisle showing the medal, signing autographs, quite an outpouring of support. Back to you, Chris. All right, Bill Walton. First ever a silver medalist. Of course, Dodd, the most inspirational player. He has a chance, if he can win here this weekend, to become the oldest player ever to win a tournament. Of course, you follow beach volleyball, you know that is Ron Von Hagen, who won his 62nd and final tournament in 1977 at the age of 38 years, nine months. Dodd is 38-11. So if he wins uh, this tournament, he will be the oldest man to ever win attorney. No. Steffes puts it through. However, I did ask Dodd this week what that would mean to him. He said, well, I feel good now because I feel like I am the most productive older player in history. Yes, Ron Von Hagen won one when he was 38-9, but I have won titles. I have won silver medals. I have won a lot of good wins. Uh, in my later years. Well, and since he's gotten with Mike Whitmarsh, they're a factor each and every week. A lot of seconds, thirds, fourths, big tournaments for Dodd and Whitmarsh that they might not have won, but have certainly influenced who did come out on top. Mike Dodd is spinning it down the line. And Dodd, of course, has really changed his training habits. I mean, as a younger player, used to train all the time, go down to Marine Street, which is just a stone's throw or a jump serve up the beach from here and play five, six, seven games a day. Now he doesn't train at all during the week, works on his house, works on his garden, rests that body. 7-3 as Karch loops it over the top and down. 7-3 is our score. Brian Stevis led early at 1-0. Dodd and Whitmarsh coming back to score six straight points and lead 6-1. Then uh, Karine Seffes got a block to make it 6-2. It was 6-3, and now 7-3. Here comes Dodd. And Dodd looping it into the corner. It's just hard to know where to break on Mike Dodd. The ball's set in the middle. It's not a real attractive-looking side-out attempt from Dodd and Whitmarsh. But again, if Steffes just moves a fraction one way or the other, Dodd's going to get the side-out to the open court. You almost hope for a good pass. Dodd and Whitmarsh lead by four. And Karch rolls it into the corner. Ryan Steffes struggled mightily yesterday in an earlier round against Lance Lyons and Justin Perlstrom. They were way down, 11-5, looked at each other and said, hey, I think it's about time we started siding out. And they were able to do that, eventually won 15-13. So still not playing great volleyball since the Olympic Games. Finished third last week up at the Cuervo in Santa Cruz. Ryan Steffes had been sluggish. You might be, too, if you had won gold medals. Hey, everybody else is on vacation. I, I know Andre Agassi's playing this week, but Michael Johnson's back in Texas resting, and the swimmers are probably all in Hawaii. Dodd, and Dodd puts it away. So Mike Dodd right there for the dink shot. And Dodd and Whitmarsh go up 8-3. to three. Keep in mind, this is one game to 15. This is what happens when you don't get chances to side out just very smoothly to the beach. Mike Dodd making it very, very difficult. Look at that set well back. Whitmarsh with the poke and scored a point.
the strategy of serving the player near the water. And Kent Steffes right now not setting the ball very close to the net at all for Karch Kirai. Seven, eight feet off the net. And Dodd, of course, scrambling behind the block. And Whitmarsh a real problem getting it past him in the first place. The gold medalist in deep quicksand so far here in Manhattan. Do you want the real truth about the leading candidate? The City Sentinel writes, this candidate has the biggest mouth we've ever seen. The Daily Times writes, the one candidate that's openly for sale. And the Weekly Contributor says, the only candidate with truly great taste. Introducing the Miller Lite Big Mouth Can. It's the only Big Mouth Can you can buy. No long-winded speeches, just easy pouring, great taste. Join the party. Choose Miller Lite. Life is good. And when you vote, life is really good. All right, back here on the beach with Karch. Not doing well, Karch. What can you do to turn this around? We got to side loud a little better and serve better. Create some scoring opportunities. What about the strategy? Got to side out better and serve tougher. <laughs> you, guys, the strategy also. you guys didn't play that well last week. Are you having trouble getting up? Nope. Mike and Mike are just playing a great game. They do that to you at times, you know? They're one of the best teams in the world. All right. Chris Barlow. Dodd and Whitmarsh are leading Karai and Steffes 9-3. Karai and Steffes admittedly have had problems with motivation. And getting fired up. So have uh, Dodd and Whitmarsh just a bit. This is one game to 15, a semifinal. In the other semifinal, it's Scott Akatubi and Brian Lewis. As Whitmarsh goes again. Dodd with a dig, Whitmarsh with the kill. Much better set, perfect looking side out play from the pass in the set, but Mike Dodd with a perfect read, and everything's going right on top of the net. No time for Kirai and Steffes to adjust. Right, Steffes need to side out and get going. When I asked Kirai and Steffes about their motivation, Kirai told me, we need to pretend like every team is Sinjin Smith and Carl Hankel. <laughs> That's what we need to get that motivation back. He hasn't been able to find it since then. Well, and, and you won't find that yeah. again, I don't think, ever. That was a special moment, but he was using that as an example of how intense they need to be. But, it, you know, Kirai and Steffes and Dodd and Whitmarsh geared their entire year around the Olympic trials and the Olympics. And now to continue and jump right back in and try to play at a very high level emotionally and physically is very, very difficult. 10-3. Karai and Steffes down by seven. Dodd is there again. Whitmarsh and Karch up high. That's a sight you very rarely see in volleyball. Someone winning a joust or a jump ball against six foot seven inch Whitmarsh. It takes a little altitude, but Karch certainly has that. But Dodd making such easy dig attempts against Karch Kirai right now. He's just going on one contact right to Mike Whitmarsh. Karch, very tentative hitting so far. He's not blasting away as Dodd and Whitmarsh take a 20-second timeout. Dodd and Whitmarsh trying to clear out the sand. Whitmarsh may have gotten a little on that joust. Well, Karch certainly has adjusted his offensive strategy against Mike Whitmarsh. We talked about this many times since he ran into Witt at the Olympic trials when he was trying to hit the ball as hard as he could past Witt. Witt had a great blocking performance. Karch is shooting, but right now the shots just aren't crisp enough and maybe he needs to get much better calls from Kent Steffes because he's shooting the ball right to Mike Dodd guessing correctly and needs some more help from his teammate Kent Steffes on the calls 10-3 Bry is mad he bombs it right into the bottom of the net so now Dodd and Whitmarsh will get the ball back we we're mentioning the other semifinal that will feature Scott Akatubi Brian Lewis against Adam Johnson and Jose Loyola the numbers two and three seeds that will be played after this match Dodd with another dig can he put it away Karch digs back, Steffes, and it's out of bounds. Dodd and Whitmarsh playing beautiful ball. They've all scored her 11 point. point this is like ESP. Dodd is just picking a side. He's not making great chases. He's just camping in the cross court. Karch hammers the ball right to him. He reads line. Karch hits the ball right to him. No wonder the route's on right now, 11-3. Karch just can't put a ball away right now. Here at the Miller Lite Open in Manhattan Beach, the gold medalist Karai and Stephens being crushed by Dodd and Whitmarsh.
li little earlier today on the sand, a uh, medal ceremony for the medalists here, the gold medalists, Karch Karai, Ken Stavis, Mike Dodd, Mike Whitmarsh, and the fans were really into it. Well, no better place, of course, than here at Manhattan, the most historic site in the history of beach volleyball, and many of the nice players shiny, saying, nice this is where it all began. This is where the great legends of the game yeah, well, Bobby, were we born you. and who we admired. Mike Dodd talked about sitting courtside 20 years ago, and that is what eventually has come of it. Millions of dollars and, of course, Olympic gold medals. Right now, Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh are administering a whopping to Karai and Steffes. Three minutes, 39 seconds remaining in the game, and Karai and Steffes down by eight. And Karai finally thumps one by Whitmarsh. Karai and Steffes' strategy right now. Side out. Okay. Side out. It's as simple as that. It's just like in the earlier rounds against Lions and Pearlstrom when Kirai and Steffes were way down. They must put Dodd and Whitmarsh on the defensive by just not giving them any point scoring opportunities. 11 3. Dodd. And Dodd thumps it through. Yep. Whitmarsh is making the court seem so small right now to Karch Kirai. And of course, all these points have come during this run where Karch is nearest the water, so that's why he's the target serving-wise. Working on Karch again. And Karai cuts it. Inside Mike Whitmarsh. So Karai will serve. He told me his Olympic descriptions this week. He said, 1984, one word, euphoria. 1988, one word, relief. 1996, one word, accomplishment. Of course, 1996 Manhattan may, may be humiliation if <laughs> Karai and Stevis don't get it together. Well, well, don't crowd on hand. Don't forget, double elimination format. And this, uh, although last week I think Karai and Stevis' expectations were not particularly high, the first tournament back from the Olympic Games. This one was different. And Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh are making it indeed so far a humiliating experience. They are on top. Big time now over Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes. We're coming back to Manhattan. Dodd and Whitmarsh in command. Back at Manhattan, Dodd and Whitmarsh leading Karai and Steffes 12 to 3. A little earlier, we asked Karch, uh, what's the toughest thing about playing after winning the gold medal? This is what he said. I think the toughest thing is trying to muster some of that same emotion that we came up with at the Olympics. At the Olympics, it's easy to do because you know you only have once a chance like that every four years. On our tour, you have a chance like that almost every single weekend. We've got to really try to pump ourselves up, back up emotionally for these last five events that we have to play. Mike Dodd is right there. Chance for another point. Dodd and Whitmarsh have been unbelievable, and they score point number 13. Dodd and Whitmarsh led early 6-1. to one. Karai and Stevis got to within 6-3, but then all the way up to 12-3, and just a moment ago with that point, now make it 13-3. This looks like practice, where, where Mike Dodd's saying to yeah. Karch, hey, Karch, I'm going to go run into the cross yeah. court, and you hit it to me, and we'll practice our point scoring chances with Mike Whitmar setting the ball everywhere Karch goes. Cuts cross court, Dodd is right there. Karai and Steffes down 13 to three. We'll come back, we'll have more. The Miller Lite Manhattan Beach Open right after this. Can Karai and Steffes come back? Stay with us. Back at Manhattan Beach, where Dodd and Whitmarsh are just hammering Karai and Steffes. Dodd just came by me and told, told me, he said, I'm in the zone. Everything's in slow motion. The ball's coming right to me every time. Just the way Chris Marlowe used to dominate this tournament. Dodd on top again. Chris? You're finally on the mark, Bill Walton. Congratulations. And dinner's on the way, courtesy of Chris Marlowe. You name the place, Bill. Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh. 14 to 3. It has been just a pummeling. Karai and Steffes have never got their act together. They scored the first point, then they gave up six in a row. They scored two to make it 6 3. And then uh, Dodd and Whitmarsh running off eight straight points. It's an 8 0 run for Dodd and Whitmarsh, the silver medalists. Here's Mike Whitmarsh. And Karch stuffs him. Karai and Steffes finally get a point. The center court here at Manhattan, of course, the site of celebration of beach volleyball. Everything that goes along with it been a little bit like a wake so far as the gold medalists have not been able to rise to the level of Dodd and Whitmarsh at all and make it a contest. 
ace for Steffes. Maybe saving too little for way too late. Plenty of time left on the clock, but the comeback against a team the caliber of Dodd and Whitmarsh from 14-4 would take a near miracle. 14-5, Steffes serving. Short serve, Dodd goes and gets it. What a set. And the put away. That's a play that Kent Steffes would ordinarily make with ease. That ball, not a lot of heat coming right at his face. You got to pop that ball up and try to keep the roll going. Second chance at game point. Karch and off the hands, out of bounds. My suggestion, if Karch were smart, he'd call timeout right now. He'd tell his rooting section, everybody here in Manhattan, to chant, Sinjin, Sinjin, <laughs> Sinjin. Get him really motivated. Get that jump serve going. That might help, but I'm not sure it would be enough. Of course, referring to the great Sinjin Smith. And just maybe he heard us. Karai serves the ace, and suddenly it's 14 to 6. So Karai and Steph is showing a little bit of life, a big stuff block, a couple of aces. Two minutes and 36 seconds remaining. Don Whitmarsh leading 14 to 6 now. Back at Manhattan Beach, Don Whitmarsh leading Karai Steffes 14 to 6. The $1 million Miller Lite Cup, which rewards excellence throughout the season. If you take first place, you go home with a pretty paycheck. And Karch Karai was smiling last year. Of course, he took home $125,000 for winning. Right on down play, pays through 48th place. And right now, Karch Kirai on top with 122 points. Kent Steffes in second, but Jose Loyola, Adam Johnson creeping up. Kirai and Steffes need to finish out the season on a very strong note. Kirai and Steffes just nanoseconds ago trailed 14 to 3. A big stuff block made it 14 to 4. And a couple of aces, one by Steffes, one by Karai, to make it 14 to 6. This match has been totally dominated so far by Dodd and Whitmarsh. Whitmarsh, Mike Dodd, Karch goes and gets it. Karch looking for termination. Oh, what a dig by Dodd. Silver medalist, got it! And that is it. Referring to Bobby Bates, one of his longtime friends, a Marine Street former volleyball star who's in rehabilitation with back problems, and he dedicated his match today. He knew that Bobby would be watching, but this was just a knockout in the second round. I, I'll tell you, Bobby Bates would be proud. 70 years of age, still plays five games a day. Dodd's going to be playing until he's 70. Made it look very easy all day long. Finished with 11 digs. 17 kills. Whitmarsh was a factor at the net. Kirai and Steph is trying to fight off the inevitable. But look at the end. This was the story throughout the course of the match. Dodd just sitting back. Shall we call it the rocking chair? Digging the ball, slicing this one off on the angle. And as good as Mike Dodd was defensively, Kirai and Steph is never had a chance. Finishing it off at the end, Mike Dodd would like nothing better than to win here at Manhattan. He's got five, all with Tim Hovland, and he has never won Manhattan with partner Mike Whitmarsh. Mike Dodd said he was in the zone. He said everything looked like it was in slow motion, and apparently it was. Dodd and Whitmarsh crush Karai and Steffes.